don't swear. So you don't want me telling Phil what I really think? Yeah. Okay. You know, I've got like uh, six council meetings out here in Christmas and Still all so the, strong. Are the same chip. See, my chip on but like one into the gig or something. There's a 68 something. Yeah, that's an awesome machine. Awesome machine. And take a good picture. Well, both of them, even the one I got takes a good picture. And you can go through there and take steals off of it. Yeah, I know how They're to do it. They're doing that with cell phones now. I don't know how to do it, but it, it does it. If you take a video or something with your cell phone now, you can pick what you want and just take a picture. You know, pull a picture out of that video sequence. <coughs> well, it's recording your voice, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, it's remarkably well spent. Let it go. Mr. Charles would be like, what's that noise? That's a fire chief. we got to play a heel to the cheese. Which one? <laughs> when I was in the Army, they changed the music of the visiting dignitaries because they, it was like in 86, 87. Anyway, it was basically sending the clowns was the music they were playing. <laughs> somebody, somebody finally looked up the composer and, and it was, they changed it. Somebody will always figure it out. Yeah. So, I was trying to think of what the name of it was, but it was. Oh, man. I watched that movie the other day about 3 o'clock in the morning with old uh, Sousa. Made the Sousa phone and. Oh. Oh, it's My son played the Sousa phone in band. Turn his phone off. I left mine out in the car. That way I don't have to worry about it. I left mine at home. <laughs> but I'll probably have a message when I get out there for pay. I need to go and pick something up at the grocery store. I told you, that's what my wife does. She sends me the list. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. It's a big piece of aluminum. It's a little bit. It's a magnet. You stick it to the bag of your car. You know what I seen on the lake <coughs> yesterday? I saw a girl on one of those. Uh, Pump, uh, blow up mattresses. And she was, if you're going up 315, she was probably 200 yards out and she was between the two banks of land. Which, I mean, she can do it if she wants to, but man, a boat come through there and not see her? Well, see, I used to have a buoy off my boathouse there. Or to try to keep people off the yeah. corner because I mean, they, they come from here in that wall right that corner. <coughs> Fly.
The mayor's going to be a little fashionably late. Is he outside? Pull up in that brother show. Yeah. You know what the mother ship is? Fair chance you don't know what mother ship is. That's your favorite vehicle, right? Mosville mother ship. Have you ever seen that? Where the big ships come in? These are brackets when they. The spaceships were <coughs> flying around the small ones, and then the mother ship come in, and that's the house. Uh, yeah, it's sort of like Independence Day. Okay. Well, that's the ones that burn all the fuel, John. I thought you didn't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You need to do that, John, because see, that Hummer will really burn the gas. You need to go up the cost. No, it burns a lot of gas. I know exactly. It gets 12 miles to the gallon. That's right, John. Can you hear that? It's it's more gas, I burn the better heat. Get, get that. What is it? What are we doing? Four or something where it burns more gas? Four. Seven squares? Is it a dollar a square? I got a dollar. How do you get a square? Mr. Gullison, you want me to help you before he calls it order? Sleep. You want me to help you? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Mr. Wabashon, it's illegal in the state of Texas to transport trees and foliage and other debris from one site to another. Good enough. Oh, call me Angela. Mayor Tony Moore. I'm here. Mayor Pro Tem John Graham. Here. Council Member Lee Ferris. Here. Mike Obshawn. Here. Pam Drost. Here. And Darlene Jordan. She has an excused absence. Okay, I declare we do have enough for a quorum. Uh, 
Secretary and Act of minutes from the July 9th City Council meeting. I'm going to put my hand up here. I don't want to get my hand mixed up. I'm going to turn the light. 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 Motion we accept the minutes as written. There's been a motion and second that we accept the minutes from the, that meeting. Let our questions, 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 all in favor? Aye. Hey, Adam. How are you? We walked right in on time. That's right. Keep Keep my, my, Angela. Keep my eye out on you. <laughs> you know you got to do that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so consider that we're going to check written register for the month of July. Oh, well, by the way, why are you doing a check written register? That's something that you council people should know. That, uh, Specs or whoever it is that bought out Centennial, that we'll be paying monthly, not quarterly, out the cluster that we went through trying to get Centennial to pay us and then they missed quarter. So, for those of you inquiring minds that are always looking on the internet trying to figure out what we make every month, it should be steady now. It should be steady. It should level out. Thanks so far, Chief. I hope so. I'm going to ask you a question about well, no, we need one. I'm just, just some information for you. No, no, but I need some information. What do they got to do with this? Well, well it, 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 it would pertain to be paying these bills. Okay. What, what I'm asking about is when the trustee uh, was appointed for that liquor store that probably went into protective bankruptcy, I, I've often wondered whether, you know, most times bankruptcy will take the monies that are available and dispense them until they are spent. Regardless, if your bill was ten thousand dollars, you may end up with five hundred dollars. Are they doing that to us, or did the comp controller? Uh, it has a comp controller in the state of Texas power over the IRS. I mean, the uh, bankruptcy court to where we get what was due to us in taxes. Put it like this: We've got a person in the comptroller office that feels our pain, and he works with us. But are we getting the full amount, or is the trustee not doing it? And okay. yes, we got paid. Go ahead, Adela. 33, 34, and 35 paid off the IRS. Oh, that's on down the road. Is that all? That's it. It's over. Yeah. Hopefully, it's over. That was the second bill that I got when I became mayor, and it was for sixty-seven thousand dollars. The first one was a fire engine. The second day, and she gave me that bill for no risk. It's over. Far as we know. So it's taken what two and a half years to pay it off, pay the bills off. We decided to go ahead and pay it off because we got our check out of Centennial. We decided to pay it off to, 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 to cut all that interest and penalties out. So we paid them off. That should be it to our calculation. Uh, Mayor, the fire chief. That's the, the fire chief needed some radio. He got some of that that nine one one communication stuff and all that kind of crap. He needed the money, so we loaned it to him. That was a loan. Does that put us up to date on our communications equipment? Does that need to be updated? Yes, sir. We're going to be. Uh, had to be updated by a certain. By October the thirteenth, we're going to be done probably by the end of this month. Okay. So we're going to be ahead. Actually. Forestry Service is the one that's behind. <laughs> that's, a, that's where you can communicate with all all the districts on the same type of. 
they all have to be on the same type of airway. Yes, sir. And plus, and some of it went from uh, they changed the band from 25 megahertz to 12.5 megahertz. But but yeah, we do have a set amount of frequencies we have to have have to have in there to be compliant, and we have those. Now we're just reducing the bandwidth. Yes, Lee, your pump's been ordered, okay? City business and get out of here. No one side is going to attack another side or whatever. It's not going to happen out on my watch. That's not going to happen again. So if you want a town hall meeting, you want somewhere you want to duke it out, you want to hold a debate, I don't care. I'll set it up. I won't moderate it, but I'll set it up. So that's why you got a town hall meeting on that. That was just for your information. That won't happen again. I hit the gallon wheel. I'll go home. All right, community center. We made the first uh, on the final payment community center. Now I know that's kind of okay. Let, let me put it to you like that. That check right by Angela's bun in the back of her head. <laughs> that check right there is for twenty-four thousand and something dollars. All we owe is another twenty-four thousand and change, and we will be through with the minimum requirement as far as the, the community center is concerned. We will be through with. It. It is in the bank right now, thanks to the Economic Development Board. They gave us the twenty-four thousand and something dollars. It's in the bank right now. We're just waiting on them to finish the building, and that will be that. We'll be through with the minimum to get the state out of our hair. And as as your next administration comes in, you can fill in the building as you see fit. But we will have two bathrooms, a male and female bathroom, a shower and a utility room. Correct, Fry Chief? Yes, ma'am. The uh, sheet rock is in there. The plumber's, the plumber's been working all weekend. He wakes me up in the morning to come and open it up for him. He, and then he wakes the Fry Chief up at night to come and lock it up. So it's, 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 the plumbing is almost done. The only thing really left is for them to put the sheet rock in there. And uh, we'll be able to, to, to host the opening. There will be an opening, but I'm not going into that right now. I plan on throwing a bottle of champagne and busting up against the, oh, against the wall. <laughs> I mean, that, that fit just about right for, for the situation. But anyway, that's that's the update on community center. It is coming along great. So as a matter of fact, tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, the fire chief has a meeting with the engineer and or the head person from uh, Stonebridge. Just, on. just to make sure that we are all on the same schedule. We got back, we backed up on the schedule some. Because of the plumber, he had other obligations. Lack of communication between the plumber and Stonebridge. But uh, they should get back on schedule, and that bill should be through within the next 20 days. Yes, sir. That's what we're shooting for, 20 days. Yeah, I think it's like 14, <coughs> 14 days, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what we're shooting for. 
Guys, minimum done. Then all the cosmetic stuff that we got, we plan on doing, maybe staining the concrete, get some other things, you know, that'll come along. But just so you know where, where, where your buck's going. <coughs> Ms. Inel Lewis, she'll still be the first one that we're going to let rent that before Lee Farris gets in with his new rental plan. <laughs> we're going to let her have it free for whatever she wants. And also, we have started repairs on her road. Correct, Pachi? Yes, ma'am. We have started repairs on her road. Her road was the only one that was missed by uh, the, the county. And I see why, because I never knew anybody lived down that road. So we're uh, taking upon ourselves to uh, to fix that road. So we have started repairs on the road. So when I make a statement, every road in Cox City was fixed. I didn't know that hers wasn't, because I didn't know it existed. What street is that? 4220. What is the name? See, he called out 40, the numbers. 4220. You know what Frank Ross said? And you're going around the curve, but like, you could go straight. That's what she lived down there. I didn't know anybody lived down there. I think it says dead or something. I never went down there. Yeah. How bad was the road? Pretty tough. Pretty messed up. We used, what, 500 pounds of, of wrap? We did, no, we did 550 of cold pack, and that, cold pack. that really didn't touch it. Yeah. So what we got to do is get some more in there and finish this right out here. Right out here, we got the cones. We got to finish that. Then we get the boy or, or Gennaro to roll over the cup town with his thing. And then that'll, that'll be done with that. And that cold pack is holding up pretty good, except for one spot on my street where that curb is. Oh, that wrap, yes, sir. Yeah, that wrap's not holding right there. Yeah, we we put we put wrap we put cold pack on forty two twenty, not not wrap. Okay, cold pack. I, I may have better. misspoke it. I'm sorry. Okay, cold pack's even better. So anyway, that's your that's your update on that. Uh, Lee, would you please let everybody know what what, what you go charge to rent that building? Now that's kind of like your project. Well, I had uh, give you the long story. I'm trying to make sure. Selena to call several different communities in our area to get a copy of their guidelines they go out for their community centers. So I'm trying to mix and match and come up with some rules and regulations for people to rent, make sure that the city is covered, make sure that they, you know, try to keep us from end up in some big lawsuit or anything. Police protection uh, is also uh, allotted on some of the events. Capacity size we get from the end of the building. Uh, as far as uh, no admission fees or solicitation funds, all that stuff's prohibited. And uh, we as a council, we decide whether we're going to allow alcohol. Um, kind of become, I don't know, for a wet town, I would think that you allow alcohol. If you have alcohol, you all that to have the police in there, which no cost is. You're talking about if somebody like have a party or something? Yes, sir. And they want to have alcohol, they'd have to have police. Oh, they, they'd have to pay our police. That's, that's what I'm saying. So it won't be anything to come out of the city funds. It's just that we need to, I guess, decide if we're going to serve alcohol, let people serve alcohol in the facility or not. Well, first of all, I was raised a Catholic, and if you have a, a perception there, they're going to drink, including the priest. So, well, you can make a in here if it's allowed. Like if you didn't allow it. Like that's what that's I don't think. <laughs> I think it would be hard to say you can't drink when the biggest part of our income in our city for years even today is it does support the local. Yeah. Okay, well give me some suggestions and what we'll do. Well, let me we're not gonna go into it. Okay. Oh. We're not gonna really, really go into it today, but I'm gonna let John talk, but what we'll do is we'll put it on the next uh council meeting and we'll, we'll come up with some parameters then well, because we'll be up and running in. If you know that a copy of the last meeting to look over and for us to decide on tonight is what, oh, is what was discussed. Not last bad. Week. Well, we can we got the crazy and go ahead and vote in next time. If yeah, yeah this time. I don't have problems with that. Oh, we can call a special one time. Okay. Yeah, we'll call a special one time. Well, let me interject something from the EDB standpoint. Point. Uh, we do have several fishing tournaments that's going to be set up uh, this fall. The two of us tournament, which is consist of a man and woman uh, tournament companions fishing the lake. And I think, Mel, how many we're expecting so far in our boat numbers? 100 to 150. 100 to 150, so it's maybe as many as 300 people. And one of the assignments of us doing this tournament, we're providing them a meal one night. I think it's that Saturday night, Mel. Mm -hmm. 
that's going to exemplify some of the things that we're doing uh, that the community center has offered us a, a venue for uh, entertaining these people. And then we have another tournament called the Crappie Tournament, right? correct? And uh, the Crappie Tournament is a little bit later than that. But anyway, the two of us tournaments a pretty big deal. It's a uh, group out of uh, Jasper County, I think, is heading up the group. But anyway, they're coming up and they're fishing our lake and we're, we're showing off our place here and thank God the water's up. But anyway, with that said, these situations are going to be coming in that EDB is trying to support to bring a, a notoriety to our lake and uh, help our local commerce. And uh, I think it would be good to allow them. Don't, don't you think so, Mel? Alcohol? Oh, I guess I shouldn't ask you. <laughs> I know. I, I why know. did you ask him? Well, I know. But, but, anyway, I but anyway, with that said, it, it, it complements the local industry that supports this town and its uh, various things that we try to provide the citizens. So that's my comment. Well, Mark, I think we can, we can allow the alcohol as long as we have a responsible party. Some and we might have to draw some type of generic type contract. And as long as that responsible party knows that he's taking responsibility, he or she is taking responsibility. Right That's what I'm saying. It's taking responsibility. And I don't even see what we would even have to get our police involved. Okay. There's all, I feel if there's alcohol involved in anything, there ought to be a, a police required to do that. To protect I, the building. I've been to protect the building and, and the city property. And they would just have to pay the fee that the police would ask for. So, so the, the, fee, the fee that's set up in the... Here. You right. did set the fee up for the police. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, that's good. How much you got? Thirty-five an hour. Thirty-five an hour? Yes, sir. You gonna get my badge? <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-five an hour. <laughs> Chris, you know, you and I had discussed the uh, maximum amount of people for the building, and you told me a hundred. Was that just for that one meeting area? The one, the large meeting area. You know, what are we saying about the whole building as it's un in its unfinished state? We Probably about a buck fifty. About hundred fifty. Because we're going to actually have almost three. We're going to have three thousand square feet right now, open. So, you know, and that's of course that's accounting for tables and chairs and, and stuff like that. If it's a sit down like this here is, you can probably put two hundred in there, in the in the large area. You may have to do shift work now. So, what is your occupancy rating on this? There's, it's different. It's like 10 foot if there's tables and chairs. It's like four foot per person if it's a chair. We would like you sitting like this. You know, it's, it would it would vary. But uh, right now, basing it on three rows of tables and chairs would be 100 people in that open square foot area, 2,000 square foot area. We can use the unfinished, so unfinished side also, so that would give us more more occupancy. Yeah, another 50 people. So we people. can accommodate your tournament. So could we safely say 150 to 175 people? Oh, yes. The way oh, yeah. it sits right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What were some of the rates that you looked around for? Or what, what is it someone looking if, if like, someone wants to rent it for, like, once a month? What are we looking at? What I looked at, uh, you know, you look at different, the three I looked at were anywhere between 50 to $300. The way I looked at personally was we've got a $300,000 building set here. I'm not about to rent that thing out. I don't feel like the city should rent it for $50. That's a minimal amount for us. You know, yes, it's not finished out on this side. You know, you will have nice bathroom and stuff, but we doesn't have like tables and kitchen and all that. There's still a very high dollar building and stuff that the city had to help fund it and they got developed for it. My idea was to say $250 per day for people that live within Coffee City, $300 for people that do not live within Uh, let me see here. And the deposit. Chandler's got 150. Yeah. That's all they got for a deposit. What if well, they what, what this is all to be homogenized together and created into a document for the Coffee City. Yeah, but I'm saying the actual deposit. Like no, that's just the rent for the building. Oh, it doesn't include the deposit. Now, the, the deposit, yeah, I was thinking of somewhere between 200 to, and like I said, I'm not, I'm just throwing out a number. If y'all have any, any different ideas, I don't think somewhere between 200 and 250, which is due back if, if they clean the best. Much, man? I, I don't think it's 
Oh, well, I just saw you rolling your eyes. <laughs> yeah. I know it sounds like a lot of money, but we're also talking about a lot of building, too. Um, I, I, I don't think that that's enough, because if someone stuck you with the cleanup in there, we would have to hire people to come in there and clean that up. Well, and what if they damaged anything in there? What would be your, your suggestion? I'd say a minimum of 500. For a closet? Yes. You, I'm talking about if they if they broke something. I understand it, Mike, but <clears throat> that's like the mayor and I had discussed it briefly the other day. We don't want to set it too high that we don't have people <laughs> you know about it able to rent it because of what the money they have available. Hey, Thirty people to cost it's gonna be five hundred dollars. I know people that because hey, if you said if you said five hundred for a deposit, yeah, they're gonna get the sticker shock. Even though they're gonna get all that or most of it back, depending on if, if everything is cleaned up like it should be, you're looking at seven hundred fifty to eight hundred dollars just to rent that building for a day. But it's With refundable the as long as they it's act their age. You know, if they behave themselves, it's refundable. Well, you still have the you still have recourse if they tear something up. I mean, it's, but you just have instant satisfaction at those kind of numbers. I think you have to I mean, instant gratification on a. Oh, recourse I, is better. I know, I know, I, I agree, but I can see Lee and Mayor's point that we could price this thing outside the reach of. How many weddings have you been to to work 165 bucks a plate? Well, that's no money at all. Can we get back to reality? <laughs> <laughs> the regular people over here. Yeah. So, I mean, so what are we looking at? Well, you're, are you still going to bring everything together and vote on it? Or is it still the planning purposes? Well, 